Okay, now that we have our radio configured to transmit analog APRS, let's go ahead and add those two channels to a zone. So let's pretend that we're supporting a event like a marathon. So let's go ahead, double click on zone, name your zone, and then go ahead and find some of the channels that you're going to add to that. So here are a few specific to a recent event that I help support. And the channels that we have here, uh, just to give an example, V1 and V2 are a, a local repeater with a, a different input. So basically the difference between these two channels is just a PL tone difference, depending on where you are, uh, that particular uh, organization that operates those repeaters has uh, two inputs. So there's two channels for that. There's a UHF repeater. There was an, a backup VHF repeater, a simplex tactical channel, a uh, GMRS uh, support group. I added a few other channels here. V1 scan, basically, when I put that channel on, it scans all of these channels and it defaults to just the primary repeater. And I'll share a little bit more about that later. The APRS voice alert channel that we added before, and then V2 APRS. And so V2 APRS in channel 25 this is identical to exactly what was programmed here on channel 16. The only difference is if I'm on channel 16 on my radio and I PTT, my radio works just as normal. If I put my chat, my radio on channel 25, it works exactly like how it works in channel 16. But the only difference is every time that I unkey my PTT, it transmits APRS. And that's super handy. This way you don't have to remember to do it. But again, if you want the option to have it either on or off, this is why I have it set into two different channels. And then finally, what you can do is you can have your particular zone default to specific channels. So let's say I'm going to have my channel A on the V1, and then maybe I want to have the med on B2. So just to give you some ideas there. Finally, let's talk a little bit about scan lists. So I created a scan list and basically when I go to that channel that I had in my zone, it's going to scan in the background these four channels. So these were the same ones that we saw in the zone, but then also what I can do is I could add other channels from other zones. Again, everything that's programmed into your radio, uh, you can assign different functions and tasks. So with one channel, I could have my radio on the primary repeater. If there's activity, it'll automatically scan and go to, into receive if there's activity on these four. And then lastly, this channel number 10 is from a DMR hotspot. And so if there was activity on uh, the DMR, uh, it would automatically listen there. So nothing that I need to do. And I could basically just put that one scan channel on my radio and I have everything uh, very easily configured. So that's pretty much about it. I guess there's maybe one other thing that we can talk about is under optional settings. When you turn your radio on, you could also have it where when you power it up, you can have it automatically start on a specific zone and specific channel. So for the marathon, if I accidentally turned my radio off, if I turned it back on, I want to have it go to exactly what I need it for, for that day. So I could have it for zone A, it'll start on the channel V1. And then let's say I want my B to be for my hotspot zone and onto the Mid Hudson Valley talk group for DMR. So when I turn my radio on, it'll automatically start up exactly where I need it. And if I go again back to my channels, we look for that V1 scan. The way that you enable that scan group is you just go to scan list and turn that on, find the scan list. And again, if I'm set onto this one particular channel, it's going to default to the repeater and it's going to scan this in the background. We could also even just have that transmit APRS if needed. So this is one really great way to get the maximum out of one channel with minimal annoyance. Hopefully you like this video and feel free to drop some comments in the chat below.